All right, hey guys, I'm going to be talking a little bit more quietly maybe today because I'm in a study room at the library filming this video. Um, I know we were supposed to be doing 10 things that you find in your apartment or house or whatever, but I thought it would be interesting to show you guys 10 things that I have in my backpack or on my person at all times. So the first thing I want to show you, oh, webcams or mirror image. The first thing I want to show you is my pledge pen for Sigma Phi Beta, which is a queer allied fraternity that my boyfriend and I helped co-found on our campus. We're still an interest group right now. We haven't gotten colony status yet. That's the, the next step. But we are doing our six-week pledge education process. So I am officially a pledge in a fraternity, which is something that I never thought would happen. So I'm really proud of that. I wanted to show you guys that. Um, also, I guess we can go for my sunglasses, which um, they have camo on the side, not by my choice or because I particularly like camouflage, but because they were the first pair I could find at Walmart that were $3 because I always lose or break sunglasses. So I've owned an ungodly number of pairs of sunglasses. So these are just uh, one in a long, long, long line. Um, here's my phone, which I always, always, always have on me. It's one of, uh, one of the things that I absolutely cannot go without. I'm constantly texting people and calling people. It's not even a smartphone, but I, I can't be without it. It kills me if I'm without it. So let's look at my backpack here. So, um, speaking of my fraternity, uh, we had to get a journal for the pledge education process. We have to write down how we feel about the process and all the different um, lessons they're having us do and stuff. And so we could pick any, you know, just go out and buy a journal or whatever. So I picked this right here. It's a little golden retriever princess because I don't know if I've mentioned this to you guys, but I really like cute things. I like cute things a lot. Um, I just... Uh, I used to try and not like them, but then I sort of realized that, you know, I like what I like and it has no bearing on my gender identity. And so I'm going to buy this pledge journal and I'm going to love it. Um, so yeah, I've also got my, um, this is out in front, oh, almost fell over. Um, it's this uh, GLBT leadership conference that I went to at Vanderbilt University recently. I've been wearing this shirt probably more than I should because it was an incredible experience. Okay, I'm going to show you all this too. Even though I already told you about uh, Out in Front, uh, this right here, when I was signing up for Out in Front, um, I mentioned it had a little box on the application that said, do you have any accommodations that you need made um, as far as like learning styles or disabilities or anything like that? And I was signing up kind of late, so I was like, well, I know this is last minute, but I'm, I've got this eye thing that makes me a little light sensitive, so um, if anybody's using PowerPoints or anything like that, it would be pretty helpful if I could get some printouts of them. But, you know, like I said, long shot, last minute, I don't, you know, I don't necessarily expect it to happen. So I showed up that morning and they just handed me this folder of all the, uh, the PowerPoints for all the presentations. So that was just, um, this I think I have going on isn't queer related, but it just shows me how much more open and accepting and accommodating queer spaces can be. How even when it isn't something to do with queerness, because of you know, the struggle that a lot of queer people go through, they're more likely to be, I think, compassionate about um, other struggles that people are going through. This is a library book that I have. It's called If We Could Change the World. And the subtitle is uh, Young People and America's Long Struggle for Racial Equality. It's for this class that I'm doing called Youth Activism Since the 1930s. And it's one of my favorite classes I've taken here. And this book is just incredibly interesting and it's a bunch of stuff that I'd already heard about and was really glad to see reflected in this book and then a bunch of stuff that I'd never heard about that I've been really excited to learn. Um, this is one of those books where like a lot of the time I don't want to read for class, it feels like a chore. Um, even books that are good outside of class feel like a chore when I'm having to read them for class, but this one um, has been incredibly incredibly enlightening and uh, everybody should read it. Read it. It's a good book. It's an awesome book. This is the bag of cough drops. 
that I have in my backpack because I pretty much literally always am sick. It's unbelievable. Um, I used to try and deny it, but I've had multiple people, boyfriends and friends and everything, comment on it, like who didn't even know each other. I've just had it said to me a lot, like, wow, you get sick a lot. So those cough drops, I think, are pretty indicative of me because um, even if I don't have a sore throat, I'm always like sick in some way. I always need, you know, Advil or cough drops or NyQuil or DayQuil or whatever it is. Um, so I figured I'd show you guys those. I also have lately, every time I get sick, I end up getting my boyfriend sick. So even if I don't have a sore throat, uh, he probably does. And then I feel bad, and so I have to give him cough drops. I also have this awesome money clip that I don't use for money. I just use it for all my cards. But uh, my dad bought it for me when I was going to Washington, D.C. back in 2009. I was going there for an internship. My parents were driving me to the airport, and my, my dad was asking me, um, you know, do you have anything for your, your money and your cards and everything? Because I used to just carry them in my pocket. And so when I said no, he was like, okay, we're going to have to stop at a gas station. I'm going to buy you a money clip. And so um, I think that was, a, that was an interesting moment for me because I don't know if he thinks of a money clip as gendered, but I think of a money clip as gendered. And so my dad buying me this money clip um, sort of said to me that either he was sort of accepting me as male or he was accepting that I see myself as male and know that I'm male. Um, you know, either he felt like I, I didn't need a purse or he was just acknowledging that I would never buy a purse. But I really like this money clip. It's super helpful and I always have it with me. And so the, uh, the tenth thing is actually not in my backpack, but it's something that I recorded a couple days ago and it actually is in my apartment. And so I'm just going to show you guys that now and end out the video with that. So, bye. Hey guys, so I just wanted to take a second to show you how cold my refrigerator is. Half a gallon of milk, totally normal.